fancy. Ah, the great dining hall. Envy of all Midgard. Funny. I remember there being a massive candelabrum. Oh shit. Really livened up the place. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if these guys are gonna hop out anytime soon. Yeah, let's actually see if there's anything. I mean, there really isn't. And we are saving up for the frozen flame, right? Okay, well, I was really hoping that the game would let us just completely obliterate that dining table, but okay. Uh, maybe next time, maybe next time. Can I, like, break this stuff? Okay, because that looks really, really breakable. Can you actually hit it, son? Have you ever hit anything? Oh, shit. You just can't help but break things, can you? Sure. Let's do this. Oh. No, that's definitely something that's supposed to hop out of there. Come on, give me a break. Oh, is it tree sap? Ah, I see. Okay. So yeah, a little bit of an optional thing, but you can actually break these open and fight some optional bosses. Not that these guys are anything to actually write home about. Let's just murder this guy nice and quick. Maybe activate a murder of crows. Why not? There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. There's wolves out of nowhere. We actually blocked that? Okay. There we go. This guy's really cool looking. <laughs> He's also fucking dead. Oh, that was a little derpy, but okay, I'll take it. It's really random how there's just like, oh yeah, here's some wolves in here. Like, these are gonna stop you when you're taking out this, this giant. Ooh, boar stampede. Nice. It's, uh, neat, I guess, but again... It just pales in comparison to... Mortar of Crows seemingly covers all the bases just in one, so I just don't know why you wouldn't use that. Okay. Three Wolvers, that's actually uh, a little bit risky. There we go. Oh. Damn it. How the heck do we do the combo? I can't do the same thing that I was doing before, where I, I did like one, two, three. Th oh, there we go. Okay, you can't uh, you can't mash. You kind of have to time the executioner's cleave. Oh fuck! No! There we go. That was really cool. Yeah, so if I do this, and then press it immediately... Okay, if I press it immediately right there, then it works. Oh, okay, no. Kratos has to finish the swing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's what I've been doing wrong. Okay, good to know. Because I really want to pull it off, because it seems like it'd be really, really good. At the same time, like, most enemies are dead after the three hits. Especially with shock heroes into the mix, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, one more that we haven't actually dealt with. There we go. And this guy will be no problem as soon as we activate Murder of Crows again. Uh, grab the axe, please, Kratos. Grab the axe! There we go. go. <laughs> this guy didn't stand a chance. I think one quality of life thing, maybe, is that maybe if you grab an ogre and there are no enemies detected, 
maybe Kratos would just automatically kill the ogre instead of going into the overhead view where it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna fuck some people up. It's like, well, there's no enemies, I'm just trying to deal damage, so maybe if there's no enemies, it should just be like, okay, just give him the kill or something. Or maybe even having an option of like, do you want to climb on the back of the ogre, or do you want to kill him uh, to deal some damage to enemies, or do you want to just fucking outright murder him instantly? Um... Yeah, what the hell? Give me some choice in this in this game. No, I, that would probably be overly complicated. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish oh, when Thor's there you are. idiot sons showed up. Would you focus on your damn shit? You quit that shit. I mean it. Um, could you guys stop it? I'm trying to talk to the dwarf. Also, I just realized that we missed something, so I'm just gonna quickly go down here. Jump down here. Can't jump down there. Man, it's a good thing there's subtitles, because you probably can't hear a fucking thing these guys are saying. Okay, let's blow this up. There we go. Okay, and that is it, I believe. Unless we can, like, throw one right here, maybe. <laughs> no, it, it just went flying. Okay. There we go. Okay. Those men. What do you know of them? First, they're not men, they're gods. Well, demigods. Anyway, let's see. Thor's their dad, different moms, sordid story that one. Baldur's their uncle, Odin, dear old grandpa. Oh, and a sister name. Weapons. How do they fight? <sighs> oh, of course. Magni's strong, really strong. Carries a huge sword hardened by cyclonic thunder. And Modi, ugh. I'd sooner lick a rat than shake that dung heap's hand. His mace and shields are just a cheap knockoff of my elegant work on their dad's hammer. Best to follow my lead and avoid, but <laughs> who am I talking to? Yeah, really. I don't think avoiding people is Kratos' style. He'd rather face them head on. Axe in, axe in hand. Okay, let's open up this chest and uh, we'll try and sneak past Magni and Modi without encountering them. Kratos is really, really good at doing that. Uh, down? Seriously? It looks like you can climb up. Hmm, weird. Oh well. And there is the chisel. It's good as ours. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Oh, fuck. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. <laughs> this fight is mine, boy. Go. Oh, fuck. Where do you think you're going? It's Discount oh, Thor. Oh, no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Okay, boss fight, Magni and Modi. Yeah, you actually get to fight both of them and one-on-one, -on -one, I guess. Well, not one-on-one. Two-on-two, -on -two, rather. And, uh, yeah, these guys, uh, thankfully we have... Oh, shit. Oh, that was cool. Okay. There we go. Nice try. Execution sleep. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? What the hell was that? Stay behind me, boy. Why do you hunt us? Okay, so this what is that's funny that I have tutorials off, but it still shows that. Okay, interesting. Um, this is actually a little bit of a mini game you have to play when fighting Magni and Modi, because yeah, they're gonna rush at you, and uh, you have to actually block them uh, when they come at you. Oh shit, that actually worked. Okay. Not gonna lie, this uh, mechanic is a little bit derpy. Um, I am not quite a fan of it, but oh well, it, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> Calm yourself, boy. Yeah, uh, well, they're gonna be doing that several times throughout the fight, so uh, get used to it. Thankfully, uh, by the time they do that, uh, that's a little mini game. It's actually able to charge up all of the, uh, all of our uh, 
runic attacks again, so we can just go uh, go back onto the attack. There we go. Perfect. Oh shit. That's a pretty cool team attack, how like they, they hit each other's shields, like claws like fucking Ragnarok or something. Oh god. Oh fuck. You bastards. Chris looks like he's about to grab Treyas' face and like rip it off or something. <laughs> oh god. There we go. Another dumb thing, by the way, is that like you can only rotate. So like the one time that having quick turn would actually be really useful, you can't. So if the arrow appears right behind you, you just have to slowly and awkwardly turn around, and it's 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 not exactly fun, but oh well. There we go. Okay, now oh, damn it! You can actually knock him out of the air, believe it or not. So that that's actually something to keep in mind. Oh fuck. Okay, we have, actually have no rage right now, and our boy is down for the count, so it's time to just do this. There we go. Murder. Could you... Okay, that's weird. I was mashing the arrow button. I guess he wasn't ready. Oh, now we're being pushed into a wall. Okay. <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh my god! God. Sickness. Fever has returned. No. It hasn't. Roy. <sighs> the coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No. Have you not been taking your Flintstones vitamins, son? See? We should keep an eye on him. So there we go. <laughs> That's a god taken care of. I mean, again, at this point in God of War uh, 3, we could have killed all of the gods and then replayed the game on hard mode by this point and killed them all again. But hey, uh, what, like. 14 hours in, one god killed. That's pretty good. We just have. Uh, Modi and Balder and Thor and Odin left to deal with. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, rest in peace. <laughs> just bounced right off his head. Okay. Um, so actually, we just got a frozen flame. Awesome. So we're definitely going to want to go right back to... Um, uh, right back to Sindri to do that right after we grab what we came here for, which is a piece of this chisel. As for the actual boss fight right there, I don't know. I think it's a little awkward, just like the way their AI works and like Enough. They, they have to do that attack three times over the course of the fight and it kind of gets a little repetitive. But, I don't know. All those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. Honestly, with... Boss fights in this game are, are not that crazy, to be honest. I think, I think I can say this at this point, but like... With the exception of maybe the stranger at the beginning of the game, I don't think any of the boss fights are truly, like... 
special, which is a shame because the boss fights in the series typically are the best part of it, and I don't think the boss fights in this game are anything to write home about, except for the Stranger. Stranger is a fantastic fight, especially since it's within the first, like, 45 minutes. Okay, so these doors that we've been seeing all throughout the game, we can finally open with this handy-dandy hacking minigame with this chisel. And gonna be gonna be honest, speaking of things I hate, I hate these fucking chisel doors. They are extremely act extremely frustrating to actually do because you have to like find the specific points on the door and slam the chisel in, and it just it feels very clunky. You can actually change it in the options to just be a literal button press to open the doors, but then. I feel like that's just straight up cheating, so I, I'm gonna do it the he way the game wants me to. That he did. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor, not minor at all. Him. This will not go over well in Asgard. No, I, I wouldn't think us. so. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Like when can you kill a god? Yeah, really. Since when? Read my entire discography. <laughs> uh, filmography, I guess, would make more sense. Shut up, me. Okay, uh... I think for this one, it's actually just some ruins that we need to destroy. So, yeah. Here's one of them up here. Gotcha. And the other two, I think we actually need to climb up to a higher vantage point just to see. So, sure. Let's do that. Uh, up here, if I'm not mistaken, this actually drops right back down on Sindri. Yes, perfect. Okay, we really want to go to him just to upgrade our axe again, which I believe is the last upgrade. Uh, first we gotta actually find those, uh, ruins. So here's another one right there. And the last one should be around here somewhere. Hmm... Uh, well, I would think it's around here somewhere. Uh, it's up really high above me. Oh, there it is. I knew it had to be from this platform, because why else would it be here? There we go. Okay. And we get... What the hell is that? A glacial catalyst. I thought it was another frozen flame for a second. It's like, what the hell? That's impossible. Um, what the heck is this guy? Okay, well, apparently there was just a fire guy right here, and he's dead. Interesting. Okay, let's come back up, head to Sindri, and uh, upgrade that axe. Although the axe doesn't really need upgrades, considering we just <laughs> embedded it in, in Magni's head, and it worked wonders. I remember that caught me off real guard a lot, when it was just like, you just casually killed him. <laughs> It's not. It's nothing for Kratos. He's done a lot worse. There we go. So the Leviathan Axe is actually maxed out, uh, except it isn't, because there's actually one more upgrade for it. All it does is increase strength, though. It'd be. It'd kind of be interesting if it gave you another ability, like I don't know. Yep. Maybe maybe ability that like is up is removes cooldown from runic attacks by like 25% or something for the last upgrade or something but sadly no we just found some leptir alloy though so holy shit yes that grip is maxed out holy shit that is awesome so uh yeah that's probably the grip we're going to be using for the whole game now <laughs> appropriate that we just killed thor's son with his seemingly his own grip um and yeah, you can actually buy another Frozen Flame with uh, Chilling Mists of Niflheim, which I don't even know how to get that because I, <laughs> I never actually completed Niflheim because it's fucking hard. Uh, I will try and do more of Niflheim than I did on my first playthrough, though, for this one, just to show you guys. Uh, or maybe I'll do most of it off screen. It'll make more sense when we get there why I wouldn't want to do most of it off screen because I don't think it'd be particularly interesting to watch was there something else anyway so with that we have finally unlocked the last skills for the leviathan axe so let's get them all returning storm which is same as this basically except with triangle and it looks really really epic really awesome 
And another combo uh, attack with the uh, switching stances. You know what? Sure. Let's grab this too while we're at it. Real quick. And uh, sure, let's just upgrade a shitload of this. Um, I'm never going to use that, so there's not even any point to upgrading it. Uh, this could be interesting. Uh, hold triangle and then press triangle again to do a bash. That's pretty good. This concussive blast is kind of like that one relic I equipped earlier in the game, too. Counter with a shield slam, sure. Might be useful. Guardian's Revenge. I will never switch stances with the shield, so that's worthless. Sprinting Barehanded might be good with Triangle. And Powerful Haymaker. Why not? Hmm. That's not very good. That's not very good either. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much it. We're not going to use any of that anyway, so it's not like it matters. Anyway, what does matter is that... Oh, well, Sindri wants to talk. Never fucking mind. Hey, did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! <laughs> Word spreads quickly. Looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was me. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. <laughs> You're the one who brought it up in the first place, jerk. <laughs> I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <laughs> He's small. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Okay, now that we have the piece of the chisel, uh, we can actually just make our way really nice and quickly through here, taking a bunch of shortcut doors on the way, and failing to open these chisel doors with every single time. There we go. Sometimes they take three, which can be very annoying. Sometimes they only take two, though. Most of the time. Magni didn't come back to life. Is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Hmm. What does he mean, he didn't come back to life? What is that supposed to mean? I don't get it. Like, they're not invincible. <laughs> Chris is doing some decorating, don't mind him. Uh, okay, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's another crystal up here, so let's attach. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Kratos, if you could just aim better. You'd think that Kratos would be better at shot put, because he's like the strongest man alive, but whatever. There we go. Okay, another crystal. Good. Let's get you another ebook, son. <laughs> at least I think it was around here. There it is. It's probably just gonna be a realm terror. Yep, it is. And it's already opened. Nice. Dust of the realms. At this point we have so many, like I don't I don't think we really need this much anymore, but oh well. Uh I think that actually does it. Oh, hey, we're back near the giant. Back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. Okay, uh, I think we can boost the boy up here. There is an opening. I can get it. Okay, nice. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Uh, there's seriously nothing else here? Really? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> there we go. Uh, wrong way. Oops. Okay, hop on. <laughs> Hold on, by the way. <laughs> I know you're sick and everything, but Daddy's gonna take you for a ride. Okay, nice. There's a rope up here. Uh, why can we freeze this, by the way? For what purpose can we freeze that? 
Oh, I see. I see. Never mind. Get back up here. <laughs> it's on a slant. That's why. Okay. That makes sense. I think that did it. Yeah, just a bit of a bit of a wind down after caving in a god's face. You know, every everyone deserves a rest after that. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, we can open a shortcut right here. For later, in case we ever come back here. Spoilers. We will never be coming back here, so what's the point? But, oh well. And another chisel door. Gotta be getting close to the outside now. There it is. And... Nope, that's not it. I knew as soon as I pressed it, that wouldn't be it. There we go. It's really weird. Like, the way Kratos' hand hovers is very strange. You don't feel like you're really in full control when you're moving his hand. It, it his is very weird to describe. Okay, uh... That is the way to go... Atreus! <laughs> oh god, there's a smoker, smoker voice again. Atreus! <laughs> Climbed around a dead giant, rode a giant falling hammer, fought some bad gods. What do you think mother would say? Bet you have come a long She'd way. She'd say go to bed. <laughs> it's it's past your bedtime. Uh Okay. Let's uh Yeah, let's head back to the lake. Got nothing better to do. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel rune to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, an open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Mm. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath the temple. Submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. it seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Okay, so just like Atreus said, we actually have another choice. We can actually do some more side stuff, or we can head right to Tears Temple for the next story beats. And honestly, um, even though there are tons of chisel doors that we can actually open now, again, just like Muspelheim, I would recommend not doing that right now. It's definitely doable. I'd say Muspelheim is also doable. Is it recommended? I wouldn't say so, having done it myself, because I went to Muspelheim immediately when it was I was able to go, and I opened all these chisel doors immediately, and let's just say it was a pain in the ass, so I think I am going to wait it out a little bit. And instead, we'll just head right to Tears Vault and uh, find f okay, more about this I black room. I saw what the hell? Freya did say the Jotunheim Realm Tower was missing. Whoa! Away. But maybe only kinda. Very strange indeed. Interesting. Okay, let's uh. <laughs> That's weird. So yeah, that uh, that chisel door right there is actually uh, our way to go right now. So, let's actually just dock here, we'll head to Brock for a sec, and uh, then we'll get going. I'm not sure if we necessarily need to go to Brock right now, but Ooh, maybe he has something to say about magic. killing uh, Magni. The entrance to Tears Vault is at the bottom of these stairs, whenever you decide it's time to go after the Black Rune, yeah? Yeah, good thing we already did most of that side quest cleanup, so yeah. But by all means, if you want to see what's beyond the Chisel Doors, because it is cool, uh, you can do it right now, but uh, you will be there for a while, let's just say. Hey, uh, word is someone put down that loudmouth Magni. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing for you when his daddy finds out. But one less Aesir farting around suits me just fine. In fact, next upgrade is on the house. Really? No. <laughs> wow. I was gonna say, there's no way he's gonna give us a free upgrade. So there's no out. way. And yeah, sure enough. This is Brock playing his old tricks. What you need. 
Okay, uh, doesn't look like there's anything, yeah. Okay, well, at least we got that little bit of, uh, wait, Astralica Bounty. Oh, that's the one I unequipped just to equip the actual better one. Never mind. Anything else for you? Um, God. I kind of do want this. Because we could get another enchantment sl slot, which would be really good. If we find that one treasure Come that's right near soon. Thor, More then we could, that. too. But I'm trying to think where where this would be is the problem. Uh, codex. Nope. Treasure maps. There we go. Well, the Turtles Tribute. This is a pretty obvious one where this one is. Um, this one. Oh, I think this is up on the cliff. I think this is actually up on the cliff near where Sindri was. So we could get that one for a legendary enchantment. Creation Island. Eternal Frost. Five. Oh, wow. This is one of the ones at the beginning. A common enchantment. Five acres gold. We have hundreds of it. And we also have hundreds of scale fragments. So that isn't even worth it. Oblivion Stone. Island of Light. Oh, where is that one? Oh, is this seriously an Alfheim? Oh, no, this is, this is, uh, somewhere else. Unyielding Cinders. Okay, that's still another one that we shouldn't really bother with. I'm honestly going to look for Neil before Thor. Which, I don't know where it would be, though. It would either be near the Witch's Cave, or it would be near the statue that we destroyed. So I'm going to quickly find that real quick. Because uh, I really want the hardened steel. Then we'll upgrade something, and then we will be on our merry way again. Here we are. I already found it. Right next to the statue of Thor. As a thought. Unstable ore. Oh, it's literally called unstable ore. Okay. Eye of Rage. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. And three hardened steel. That's what I came for. Sweet. Man, maybe I should actually have paid attention to the treasure maps because that, that's really good. It's cool that it tells you what you get. That's really nice. So you don't you don't have to hunt the treasure and then just hope that it's something good. Okay, I'm going to head right back to Brock and uh, we're going to upgrade that right away. Thankfully, there's a teleporter right here. Or the Hulja brothers? Well, who doesn't? They're quite famous or infamous, depending on your point of view. They crafted Mjolnir, you see. Thor's hammer, the Aesir's greatest murder weapon, the bane of giant kind. They made Thor's hammer? I didn't think they'd like the Aesir. Damn! Oh, I should say not. But this was long ago, and they were eager to make a name for themselves. Rather overdid it with that one, methinks. <laughs> so, yeah. If you ever wonder, like, wow, Brock and Sindri are kind of, like, they're fools. Like, no, they fucking made, like, the most devastating weapon in all of Norse mythology. So, hell, maybe in all of mythology at all. Well, except for maybe, like, the Eclipse Cannon or something. That's neither here nor there. Okay, so, we could upgrade the bow one last time with hardened steel and everything. Or we could upgrade this. Well, they always say you should favor your son more than yourself, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I want this. There we go. Uh, wait, how come we didn't have that equipped, actually? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Why didn't we have that equipped? Did we have something better? We have the Belt of the Ancients. But the war belt... Oh, okay. Okay, no. That was worth it. I panicked for a sec. I was like, oh shit, were we wearing something better? But no, yeah. This is definitely... Definitely better. Stat-wise, it's pretty much around the same. This has a better uh, resistance, I guess. But this has more... Uh... You know, actually... I don't know if that was necessarily worth it in comparison to an arrow upgrade... At the same time, whatever. It's not like we're never going to find more hardened steel. We're going to find more. 
So sure, let's uh, let's go to sockets, remove all of these, equip this, and put on some more. So tear shard, etched crest of shadows, yes, eye of rage, eye of fury, increase rate of rage gained or cost of using rage attacks. I say they're both good, so I'm gonna equip both. Uh, and as for, damn, we're still not at another, uh, still wanted to. we still haven't Let's gotten to another to level it. yet. I was kind of hoping we'd just break it because of that, but sadly, no. Um, what can we do? Can we upgrade talismans at all? No, we need pure essence. God damn it. Or a dragon. Two dragon tears. Okay, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Hey, Never goddamn mind. Okay, sweet. Um, Yeah, let's actually just head out then, and we're going to head straight to uh, our goal, which is the uh, temple right below us.